Hey everyone, imagine we have two elements and they both have an attribute, in this case the data name equal to Venus. We don't know the exact value of this data attribute, but we want to confirm in our test that those two values are the same, a non-empty string. Ok, so what do we do? First we get the first element, in this case I'm using an ID, and then we can invoke jQuery attribute method with the argument name data name. So this will give us a value of that attribute and you know the value could actually be empty at first and then the application will say. So we want to attach a couple of assertions like be a string and be not empty to confirm that this element has a data attribute data name. Okay, so that's great. Then we get this value. We don't know the value, but we can see it in the command log, it's Venus or whatever it is. And now we can directly say, get me the second element by ID. And now we can write an assertion to have attribute data name and the value in this case is S. We know the value because it was yielded to us. Perfect. So that's how you confirm the two elements have the same attribute. Of course, a better test would not be like this, right? A better test would know exactly the values to expect, in this case, Venus. So this is the first element and, I mean, with the second element and this is the first element. I would recommend trying to get your test into this form where all the expected values are known and are just confirmed. Not only it leads to deterministic tests, it actually prevents surprises and it makes writing the test a lot simpler, in my opinion.